it's become a growing concern in our society, which is good news that people are waking up to what's happening. Ohio Lieutenant Governor John Husted says he's not advocating for a law to ban cell phones in schools. We don't believe that a one that, that we know at this stage what that best policy is. But he and Governor Mike DeWine are asking schools to eliminate or severely restrict cell phone use during the school day. Houston hosted a roundtable addressing nearly a dozen school leaders on Monday. In my opinion, it's the single most impactful policy change that a school can make to improve both academic uh, performance and social outcomes. Yellow Springs Superintendent Dr. Terry Holden says her district requires middle and high school students to lock up their phones for the entire school day. Teachers love it. They've gained back so much instructional time. Students are talking and engaging with each other at lunch and not on their phones. Mount Healthy School leaders point out what works for one district may not work for another. We're a high poverty district and our kids have a lot of aces um, and so there's also our our parents do feel like they need to reach their kids regularly. Houston says they're taking these roundtable discussions back to Columbus to help other districts. And what we're doing is preparing to collect the data and the information and the policies that are being used so that schools can choose from those. The superintendent said limiting smartphones improved academics, school culture, and reduced disciplinary incidents. But regardless of which path district administrators take, they're up against a societal norm. This is true culture change in school. Our society is very different in how everywhere you go, people are on their phones, heads down, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Ohio House Bill 485 was recently introduced. If passed, it would require schools to create an internet safety policy, which would also include limiting the use of cell phones during the school day. Houston says he hopes that the work that they're doing in those roundtables helps schools start thinking about those policies. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.